My name's Suprema Pete. Winter is coming. And this is Minecraft Wheatley. And welcome. Texture Pack Spotlight this week is Cubism. This is a 16x texture pack, so no patch are required yet again. I know some people like that. So let's get stuck in and see what it looks like. So in here you see some paintings that's pretty cool. Everything's well, as you can tell by the name cubism, you would expect everything to be cubed. So look at that, all the ores cubed. I don't know what's up with the UI in here, but maybe it's just a bug with pre-release version, not sure. And as you can see in here, very cuby. It's gonna have a look. Yeah, the UI is messed up, so I can't really show you the UI properly. I don't think it's the texture pack's fault, I think it's bug with the pre-release 4 at the moment, not sure. But anyway, that's pretty good anyway. Outside, let's have a look. We've got some flowers, We've got some structures you can see what structures look, would look like with this texture pack and also you can just see what a natural world would look like with this texture pack so yeah this is cubism links in the description for you to download it and I don't know some people might enjoy this texture pack I think it's a pretty cool idea and yeah links in the description below so Thank you for watching this segment. Stay tuned for the skin spotlight any second now. And welcome, it's the skin spotlight. This week's skin is the Scream Phantom. And as you can see here, I don't have to use a thing in the corner anymore. Just front view with the new F5. So that's pretty cool. And as you can see here, this is a Scream Phantom. And it's pretty cool. If I line up the head like that, then you can see the full skin in all its glory. It's pretty awesome, I gotta say. I'm a fan, so link a bit in the description to download this. So if you want the skin, it's there. And yeah, that's it for the skin spotlight this week. And now it's time for the creation spotlight. This week, you may, may be wondering what the hell this is. Well, this is D Dust 2 from Counter Strike, and it's pretty accurate. This is where you'd spawn as the terrorists. You could either go left here or you go through the doors, double doors. And here there's the little bit down there. People usually go up here to bomb site. There's a counter terrorist spawn down there. You can pl you usually plant the bomb around here. So it is pretty accurate. I could find my way around this map by knowing the counter strike map. So from the counter strike spawn you can snipe through these doors. Or you can go to the bomb site through the doors, or up across the wall. This is the other bomb site. As you can see, he's tried to do his best job to do the Counter Strike map with Minecraft blocks. And as you can see, he's got every area you would expect in the map. So this is great. I love it. So if you're a fan of Counter Strike, you know this map. So anyway, that's it for the Creation Spotlight this week. Links in the description to the schematic for this if you want to add it to your world. So thanks for watching the Creation Spotlight. I'll be back next week with a new creation. Now it's time for this week's Minecraft news. Yeah. So what's new this week? Well this week we have the new realm. It's called the End. And it will have a lot of Endermen in. Seems to have a lot of Obsidian Pillars. And also will have Ender Dragons in. Unsure if there'll be anything else there, but that is awesome. Also, there's glistening melon now. Um, I'm not quite sure what the difference is from the normal melon, but I guess it just glistens. Also, there's they've added enchantments, like new enchantments into this pre-release build. The sun and the moon has been changed. They're no longer square. They're round, and they the sun now will rise in the east and set in the west like in the real world. Flowers now grant, randomly grow around the world. Strongho strongholds are now slightly larger and have a new room. 
and in this new room you'll find a portal to the end yeah also strongholds ha now have more chests as well so you can get more loot also gas tears now cause regeneration and not instant health from brewed into a potion glistening melons cause instant health from brewed into a potion and finally there is new splash potions and these are just like normal potions but if you brew that potion with gunpowder it'll make it into a throwable AOE thing so you can brew like a potion of weakness throw it at a bunch of enemies and they will do hardly any damage to you I'm not sure how it affects creepers though same with like slowness potions and how if you've injured a load of enemies and I don't know why you'd want to do this you can throw a health potion at them yeah or if you want to give yourself a challenge throw strength potions at them or swiftness potions yeah I don't know why you'd want to do that but yeah that's it for the Minecraft news this week and tune in for next week where I have more news and updates for you so thank you for watching and I'm gonna move on to the next segments and finally it's the channel spotlight so this week's channel goes to the cyber daemon and they're a pretty new channel actually it's two guys the carrot boy and the cyber demon himself and they do their adventures around minecraft they do some adventure map stuff they take a look at some pre-release stuff and i think it's pretty cool and they definitely deserve some more subscribers so go and check them out tell them i sent you go and watch some of their videos and that they're, they're improving very fast good stuff so that's pretty much it for this week's minecraft weekly so hopefully you enjoyed you check out some of the stuff i mentioned in the video and also leave me a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't and i thank you all for watching yet again so be back next week with a new texture pack new skin new creation some more news and another channel so I'm going to leave you now, thank you for watching, and goodbye!